us a bit about the difficulties or the yes uh, what, so that was. I'm not an animator I'm an illustrator and I was creating everything in the movie which is not moving the whole scenes of the woods and the insides of the rooms and everything which is not moving and here is um, really depressed all the time <laughs> so um, was this a, a, a conscious choice um, to, to, to make uh, another a little bit another diff, uh, atmosphere here slightly darker a taky on má takový jako pomalej pohyb, takže celý ten film a tempo toho filmu je vlastně jeho pohyb. Já, a i tu poslední písničku, která hrála v titulcích, jsem musel zpomalit do jeho tempa, do jeho chůze. Takže uh, myslím si, že největší zásluhu na ty rozdílu mezi komiksem a filmem má Miroslav Krobat. So, so this little twist between the book and the movie is, is uh, coming from the main actor because he's quite silent on his own. He's also coming from the mountains, so he knows the <laughs> characters and the people very well. And he went through the scenario and he was cutting down the, the dialogues. <laughs> so he was the big... Uh, and I remember myself when I was young and trying to avoid the military service. Uh, we were... <laughs> Uh, we were going to the to the psychiatric hospital a lot, and so when Jeremy was there, he remembers there was a guy coming. There was a man, and he he didn't sp he didn't speak for two years, and later and later after these two years, Polish police came and just took him away, and no one knew what he was doing. It was a very strange story. So he is the inspiration of the root character for the. <laughs>
máme jenom 40 minut. Uvidíme. Je to tak na hodinu a půl. Like to uh, present to you our project called Alloy Snail. So uh, we would start with, with those pictures. Here he is. <laughs> so as you can see, he is sitting at his favorite spot, which is a toilet. A vlastně tím medituje a jsou to vlastně takové jeho mantry. Hrdina žije tady v tomhle místě. He lives in this part. It's like a mountain area of Czech Republic. Pracuje jako výpravčí v horský, horský trati. Uh, he works as a train conductor there in Little Village. A celý ten nápad nebo vznik tohohle projektu Alois Nebel vznikl tady v téhle hospodě. So the whole idea of, of our book about this hero started at this pub in Prague called at Blown Away Eye. Kam jsem chodil se svým kamarádem Jardou Rudišem. And I used to go there with my best friend Jaroslav Rudiš, which is unfortunately he cannot be here. Protože já jsem muzikál, mám rokovou kapelu a Jarda Rudiš je novinář a spisovatel. So Jaromír, he is also a musician and his best friend of his was a music critic at the time, so they were meeting there talking about music a lot. A měl jsem takovou ideu, že bychom mohli udělat grafický román, nikdo jsme s tím neměli zkušenost, ale prostě tady, tady jsme si tím pivem, no tady to vzniklo. So I had this idea. Uh, to create a graphic novel for a long time, so uh, th this is where it started. I asked Jaroslav. This is Jaroslav at his concert with his band. And we have seen that Jaroslav had a dream that he 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 had a dream. So after some time, uh, my best friend of mine, Jaroslav, uh, he came came up with the idea we can do actually something together, and it could be a story about uh, Jaroslav's grandfather. And this is the inspiration uh, for the house where our main hero Alois Nebel lives and works. It's called Horní Lipová in Rio. A dneska, když tam člověk přijíždí, tak už, uh, už je tam napsaný i Bílý potok, protože Alois Nebel se stal docela populární postavou v Čechách. A je to o tom, jak Alois Nebelovi se vrací takový vize, má takový divný sny, takový traumatický sny o tom, že po jeho železnici jezdí vojenský, lazaretní vlaky, vlaky do osvětiny. And here we meet the main hero character and we find out that he has those visions and nightmares about old train passing by his station from war, from Dachau, from Lazaret. So he gets mad, he gets crazy from these nightmares and he ends up at the psychiatric hospital. So in this hospital he meets another very important character of the book called the Mute. Which is person who never speaks. A druhý díl Alojza nebyla se jmenuje Hlavní nádraží. This is the second volume called the main train station. Je to v době, kdy v České republice probíhala sametová revoluce a měnil skončil komunismus. It's, uh, it's happening during the Velvet Revolution in, in Czech, uh, after the co communist era stopped and the, the new era starts. Potom Alois Nebel začal žít takovým vlastním životem, jakože už jsme to moc nekontrolovali, to bylo pod naší kontrolou. Alois Nebel actually started to live on his life on his own, we didn't have really control about it. A třeba tohle je, že, že dělali divadelní představení, adaptovali komiks do divadelního představení. So the Alois Nebel got adapted into a theater play. Bylo to docela úspěšný a hrál se to asi tři sezóny. It was also quite successful. It it went through three uh, theater seasons. 
taky začal vycházet v magazínech jako stripy. It was also in magazines as a comic strips in different magazines for a couple of years, Czech magazines, Reflex and Respect. A taky jsme začali dělat výstavy, které putovaly po celé republice a i po Evropě. No, so there is a travel uh, exhibition uh, uh, traveling through Czech Republic, Germany. It, it was uh, shown at a lot of places already. Tohle vystává třeba ze, ze Stuttgartu. This is from Stuttgart. A potom pokračovala asi v prostě a teďka v současné době Drážen. Uh, right now it's in Dresden, this exhibition, and it, it, got, it received a lot of awards as well. It's in Stuttgart. Yeah. Designing awards. Já, <laughs> a tohle potom přišel za námi produkční firmy Negaty, filmové, filmové produkce, že bychom mohli natočit film podle Alize. Uh, one day a uh, film producer from uh, Negative uh, came and he is in interested in the story to make it as an animation movie. Uh, tak, uh, takže já jsem v té době oslovil režiséra a animátora Tomáše Rumňáka, který dělal nějaký kriky pro moji kapelu. So I uh, met with my friend Tomáš Luňák, which is a director and animator, and he also did a couple of music videos for my band already, so we talked about it. Bavili jsme se, jak bychom to mohli zpracovat a napadla nás, jak bychom to mohli dělat rotoskopy. So uh, uh, Tomáš came up with the idea that we can use the rotoscopic technique for the movie. Což je technika, když se ten film jako natočí v reálném a postavám a s reálným prostředí. Uh, it's an old technique uh, using uh, the real film, real actors, but then it's uh, redrawn later. And uh, played by a uh, quite known uh, director, theater director Miroslav Krobot, but he is uh, also an actor. A důležité je taky, že pochází z těch hor, kde se ten příběh odehrává, takže zná, zná ten, to prostředí. Yeah, Jaromír Jar Hivil like that, he's also coming out, coming from the mountains the Kalois Nebel is from, so... Takže ta naše spolupráce třeba u toho filmu bylo, že já jsem kreslil ty postavy a Johanna kreslil to pozadí. So our collaboration on the movie was that uh, Jaromír did the, the visuals, how he imagines the scene and I was drawing the backgrounds, everything which is not moving. A tohle je už potom plagát uh, filmu, Alois Nebel. Uh, this is the poster for the movie Alois Nebel. Který měl premiéru v roce 2011 na Benátském festivalu. The premiere was at 2011 and it premiered at Venice Film Festival. Uh, potom projel, potom projel celou Evropu. It was traveling on many other festivals through, through Europe and uh, ve čtvrtek se hrál celá tady. It was on, th it was on Thursday, you could see it here. Ale nakonec dostal, dostal evropského Oscara, evropskou filmovou cenu za nejlepší animovaný film v roku 2012. Je to, je, to, je to Američan, který žil v Evropě. He is an American screenwriter. He lives in Europe. A už měl zkušenosti za to, co má Kafka dělal třeba s Robertem Kramberg. And he specializes on Kafka, uh, and he already did this book together with Robert Kramp. První, co jsme udělali v té spolupráci, že jsem nakreslil takovýhle test, představuje, jak by to mohlo vypadat. Uh, so, uh, these are the f first uh, drawings I did when I was imagining how the story will look like, should look like. A já jsem si ho představoval jako takového tuláka, takového lůzera, tu hlavní postavu Kaj. So I was imagining the main character K as, as, a, as a kind of bum loser. Uh... Mu se to, mu se, to, ten můj vizuál líbil, ale říkal, že Kafka se jako převtěhoval do těch svých postav, takže jako by, jako by byl bum, že on tam hrál. Že... So David liked the style of the drawing, but he, he said, he told me that Kafka really saw his characters as, as himself. He was transforming himself, so he should look more like him and not be such a homeless. A toto už je takový jako finální strán, když jsem dodělával poslední, poslední stránku. 
tak tam byly všechny propriety, co jsem k tomu potřeboval, jako nikaretový žvíkačky, cigarety a pivo. So here you see my workspace and this is actually from the last page of the book when I was working and you see all the stuff I need to work so it's like cans of beer, cigarettes, nicorettes. So. Yeah, so the, the cutouts I was doing, I didn't do the whole comics in cutout, I simulated later in, in the computer to draw the whole book. So this is the last page. Kdy Kafka ten román nedopsal a my jsme to vyjádřili vlastně tím, že je tam prázdná And because the book is, is not finished, Kafka died while writing the castle, there is an empty bubble at, at the last frame, because we don't know how it ends. A, takže to je ten konec a, a prostě, ať nám drží palce, tu Eisnerovou cenu dostaneme. <laughs> it would be great to get the Eisner Award, of course. Thank you. Uh, I'm not really, you know, earning my money here for <laughs> not asking any questions. Okay. But, I, but you, you okay. gave a beautiful uh, presentation here, so I don't think I've got a lot of any questions. Are there questions from the audience? Yes, Alois Nebel, does Nebel mean anything? Alois Nebel, we looked for a name that would be in Eastern Europe. They were looking for a name which is uh, Compatible to a Eastern Euro, uh, Central Europe, which is uh, uh, not too difficult. Alois is that we are to use in And Alois is you, you can hear it in Germany, in Austria, in Czech. It's cool. And Nebel in German means fog, so it was quite uh, nice together with the region which is dark and there is a lot of fog going on and also in his head he has a lot of uh, nightmares it also represents his uh, his mind but is it published in other yeah. languages yeah. translated yeah translated yes there is a translation in german yeah. in německy the castle the castle is uh, it uh, is from Selman Hero Publishing in London. It's in it's in English in original. So far, it's translated in German, Czech, Portuguese. From Belgium. So what happened when it came out in in German edition? The castle. So the literature house in Stuttgart was came up to us and was very interested to to do something with it. So if we can prepare an exhibition similar to Alois Nebel one, this the this Kafka. And it its name it's Kafka in comics. Protože víš, že jsem muzikant, tak mě požádali, jestli bych na těch vedlesářích nezahrál nějakou muziku. And because they know uh, a musician, they ask me uh, to perform some music during the vernissage. A, a, tak já jsem si to jako hrál na kytaru a, 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 a něco jsem zkoušel, moc, moc se mi to nelíbilo, až jsem zase oslovil nějakou vyšet. <laughs> so I was trying to find out some 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 new uh, music and with my guitar I was not sure about it but I asked again my best friend Jaroslav and we came up with the idea that because Jaroslav Rudic he, he speaks German very well so we created a project that he is uh, reading the Kafka's book in German and uh, his band is playing music, it, it's, it's a mix. Is there any way of getting the publisher to publish the other volumes in English? Would be great, yeah. but we, we, don't, we don't know yet. We should, yeah. Yeah, please, do that. <laughs> We are hoping for it.